Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS ROG laptop. This is an ASUS ROG GL503VD model. And in this video, I'm gonna take you on really easy steps on how you can add or remove your RAMs in here. I made a really short video, I'll leave that link in the video description, that where you can check your maximum RAM capacity for your laptop or for your PC. Because every, there's a variety of this exactly model with a different CPU gens that they come out with. This is the iCore 5 7th gen, you might have an 8th gen or something like that, and the RAM capacity support is much higher. In this laptop, you can add 2 times 16 gig RAM with no issues. Yours might be different. You might have an 11th gen that could go up to 64 gig with no problem. I'll leave that link in the video description so you can check. All right, let's get it started and it should be very easy and simple. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop. Just remember by upgrading the RAM or removing it, you're not going to change anything in the system or any configuration. It's just plug and play. On the bottom of the laptop, uh, you're gonna need a screwdriver set. I'll be using my favorite screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. You are gonna be using a Phillips number zero. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, get the basic set. For the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. A metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. With this on hand, you're gonna get it started. On the bottom cover, this uh, rubber legs in here, you wanna lift it up from the backward, backside down, like that, there's an adhesive, it's gonna get ripped apart. You can put a double-sided tape, but the adhesive is still good, so there's no reason for it. And under that, you're gonna see a screw. You're gonna remove this tiny screw, and then we need to lift up this cover. You wanna put your fingernails, or just open it through here, and bring it up, just wiggle it up, and it should release itself, okay? Now, down here, we're gonna see the RAM stick right over here, uh, empty space in here. We have already added an 8 gig, you can add a 16 gig. This one comes with an 8 gig, so you can add only a 16 gig in here or additional 8 gig to have a 16 gig in total. To remove the RAM, it's really simple. All you need to do is to put your fingers on the triggers on the side and the RAM will pop out in 45 degree angle. Just like that. And all you need to do is just grab it in the same 45 degree angle and pull it back outward. And you're gonna see, a, these are DDR4 RAM. I'll leave the compatible RAMs in the video description. You can purchase yours. The notch on the RAM must match the notch right on the dim, which is right over there. So if you try to put the RAM the other way around, it will not simply go through. So you wanna place the RAM in a, bring it down in 45 degree, right inside the jack, push it inside the jack in 45 degree, and then simply you wanna push it towards the motherboard, and you're gonna see these two triggers on the side open and close, just like that, and they stay straight. And that's how you know your RAM is in place. And once you power on the laptop, it might take five to 10 seconds for the motherboard to do a RAM check, and you should be set to go. If you wanna access the second RAM, the second slot RAM, that you could have easily give you an extra cover in here to be able to remove the second RAM because it's just right over here. People say like, oh, it is soldered on, but it's not. They could have just gave you a little cover in here included, but they don't, that's kind of horrible. To get to that second cover, it's really easy. It's not too hard. All you need to do is to disconnect the uh, cable here, which is for your mechanical drive. Untangle it right there. You're gonna remove these three, one screw, two screw, and three screws. So I'll remove three screws right here. Keep them in one pile. Also remember by removing the RAMs and stuff, you don't need to disconnect the battery. That's why they don't give you access to the batteries all safe. Right, and there's no options in the BIOS to disconnect the battery in the BIOS. So you just pretty much power it off and replace the RAM or whatever you want. But right, once we remove these three screws, now we need to remove the screws outside. These are the short ones in the corner. These are the medium ones. And these are the longest screws goes all around like this. So I'll keep them in a different pile. All right, once you remove all the screws, what you wanna do, you wanna grab the laptop in this angle. You wanna open up a little bit. 
You want to stick the opening to the guitar pick in between. Uh, I use a guitar pick to stick it between the palm rest and top cover right there. And then wiggle it around and it should open up and make a nice click sound. That's what you want to do all around in the front. You wiggle around and it should cover up. Once you do this side, I'm just sticking about two or three millimeters on the sides in here. You just lift it up. Same thing in this side. And in the corner, bring it up. Now there's a hard drive attached to it, so just lift it up gently, bring it up, don't bang it around. Put it to one side. And the second ram, it's right over here under this cover right there. Again, have a little tape over, so remove this tape. Right there. To remove it, the same thing as at the front. You don't need to disconnect the battery. All you need to do is pull up these triggers and slide the RAM backwards. This again is an 8 gig. You can put a 16 gig and 16 gig in here to have a 32. You bring it down, make sure the notch matches, slide and push it towards the motherboard. And there you go. Once you're done with that, just grab the top cover, bring it over, align it, squeeze the corner, make sure you hear those nice big click sounds. And you want to bring it like this, tangle this cable, the hard drive connector, squeeze it right to the jack, push it down, put the three screws right in here, one by the SSD and the hard drive, one right over here, and one right by the connector that you just plugged in. And that's it. And once you do this one, pretty much that's how you can access the other one. And the rest of the screws just goes all around. The longer screws go to back to the side, left side. The short ones in the corner and the mediums, they go right in the middle. I'm just going to fast forward this part. Once you're done with that part, now you want to grab the top cover. If you have upgraded the one in here, grab it, put this side corner panel here, you squeeze it really hard down and put the single last screw right on top and I'm going to power it on so you guys can see. And let's go ahead and power it on. It is kind of dusty. There we go. We are back. Windows loading. And Obviously it says laptop, let's go to the task manager. And RAM, 16 gig RAM available. And that's it, that should cover up this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.